Hello M2 Machine and Limousine fans. Today we are finishing up the six castings I'm trying to collect from this uh, Limousine Auto Stretch Rods uh, series from M2. So this is the Mercury 8, or 1949 Mercury as it's known by everyone else. And I picked it up loose off eBay. It comes in this little cover thing with four tabs. Okay, and two screws. So the Mercury 8 started in 1939, but this is the third generation that was uh, between 1949 to 1951. And this body style went to something called the Ponton body style, where it stopped the usage of uh, running boards and separate fenders that you would see in cars from the early 30s and previous. Uh, so this whole modern design for its day is what uh, let Mercury break sales records in that year of 1949. And then this became a really popular customizer's uh, template. So George Sam Barris in 1949 built the first lead sled, as it's called, which had taken 49 Mercs and slamming them to the ground and probably shaving the roof down. I didn't actually bother to look up that image of what that was, but so I apologize. I just think it's a cool looking car in stock form or, you know, obviously lowered and chopped or whatever it might be. All right, standard bases here from M2, the diamond plate and the logos and stuff. All right. Well, we might as well look at this engine while it's open. Oh, there's a little piece of plastic here holding it up. Hold on, let's see. Well, I should probably take it out, right? The flashlight will go crazy with that and unfortunately M2 doesn't really make good engines that's pretty lame uh, mainly because it's so shallow uh, I do like the chrome air filter but you know when you look at the inside of an old car the engine there's a lot of air next to the uh, engine block you know some of them you can actually get in and crawl around in but this this thing is so shallow it's bottoming out right there so it just doesn't look very nice to me. And then usually it introduces these panel gaps that I'm not a fan of either. But since this is a totally different colored hood, it's not as bad actually. Those panel gaps, at least on the side, are pretty tight. But you have to have a usually a pretty big panel gap here so it clears the uh, casting when it opens. And so that's really unsightly. And unfortunately, right now, it doesn't seem to want to stay down. See? So that's kind of lame I think but luckily there's a little fix for that so it's uh, called poster mount putty or sticky tack stuff doesn't really tend to leave marks so you just jam some of this in here hopefully enough jam it right up there and at least for the rest no, actually that's a tall hood so I need more sticky tack Okay, there, now it stays shut, hopefully, maybe over time it might work loose, but at least hopefully for the rest of this video, it'll be okay. All right, nope, well, I don't know, it seems like it's already starting to open up, right? Yeah, so, so that's not good, that's why I don't like opening hoods, one reason. Anyways, there's some sort of raised emblem here, but there's no paint, so it's just a bump. But I like the headlights. They're clear plastic and they're set in clear, uh, sorry, they're set in chrome bezels, plastic bezels there. There's some paint here, white here for those lights. And then the grill is nice, separate plastic piece, it seems, with a lot of ribs. Very cool. Uh, bumperettes are molded in here as well. And then this is a cool livery. I couldn't find it uh, online. I just looked up like 49 Mercury Military and Air Force and Bomber. But to me, it looks like a World War II bomber's uh, livery, you know, with all the bombs here. Okay, the Royal Flush. And then we have uh, raised handles here, but I don't understand why the door lock is an oval. All right? When, when, I don't know, it seems a little weird. Why wouldn't it be a circular lock? All right, well, anyways, this is a pretty nice silver paint, metallic and then we have this red graphic with M2 and JM315. I don't know what that would mean. 
please leave a comment if you know. And then the silver going around the window trim, it, which is, yeah, it is a separate silver than the body silver it looks like. And then we have a big blown V8 back here with a supercharger. I've seen that before. Roll cage is chromed out. It's a real roll cage. Uh, little wheel skirts here. Uh, red lights. Uh, maybe those are backup lights. I can't say. 49 for the plate is nice. And then uh, this little light slash hand grab. But it's not painted in a different silver like the like up here. Or is it? I don't know. All right, uh, there's a big M on the box here. And then the rear window has silver paint going around it. Mm, this side seems okay. Oh, was this on the other side? No, it wasn't. All right, so yeah, Air Force stuff. Oh, and this side has more bombs, right? What's going on here? Yeah, less bombs. Oil flush, oil flush, but more bombs. So it's uh, kind of weird. Why one side would have more bombs than the other. It's the same vehicle, right? Hmm. Okay, uh, on the bottom we have two screws back here. And then there's a tab, I think, in the front. So this is a drag racing limousine, of course. That's normal. Uh, really skinny tires, but they have treads. And then we have slicks in the back, which makes sense for drag tires. Uh, the front wheels, they actually have nice molded details, but they look like they're just raw plastic. But uh, yeah, you got lug nut details and some sort of like depressions, fins or something around the perimeter. They're, they're pretty cool. I think uh, they're kind of hard to see though, but I could always repaint those because the base is screwed together. Um, the interior. So it's got a really low chromed seat and the steering wheel's got spokes and there's like a silver printed bunch of switches there behind the steering wheel. This one has no interior panels at all on the doors though. It's just all the silver paint. Let's look at it on the other side. There's something yellow right there on the passenger side. Some sort of electronics box maybe. And then the engine itself, yeah, you got some belt details there in black. I guess it's fine. I mean, it's a drag racing car, so it doesn't really... They would really strip it out of all the interior parts anyways on a real drag car, so that's cool. Uh, I'm now noticing there's some wiper blade details molded in, although... I don't know. Again, they, they could probably use a little silver paint, like the silver here. They're not colored, so... Uh, being such a heavy casting, yes, it, it rolls. With, with authority. Alright. Stay down, hood. Anyways, it's a really cool livery. I, I like it. it. Took a while for me to wait patiently on uh, eBay for this to pop up at a decent price. Okay, so let's look at those other castings. I think the first one I got was this Cadillac. You know, I'm going to line these all up because we're going to look at them all up from above. And I got this Chevy Bel Air. I got this Ford uh, Crestline Victoria. It's actually kind of similar in its styling. Well, Ford and Mercury, same same company, really. This is a Chevy Impala. And then the oddball Ford is this 32 Roadster. Let me get the back here. Push them all back here. Which is the biggest? Hmm. Hmm, see, they're gonna be. Yeah, the longest one is the Merc because of the bumpers. That rear bumper is quite protrusive, if that's a word, maybe not. Anyways, look at all the cool graphics, right? And in particular, this Mercury stands out because it doesn't have the typical flame job. Right? All the other ones have flames, which are like, but you, sometimes you just got to mix it up. So whoever came up with the graphics on this, I think is great. I think it's actually, well, on this, one, two, three, four, these, no, one, two, three, on the back they say Dave Chang Design. But these three do not, so I don't know if these are internal 
M2 Designs, or maybe even Dave Chang works for M2, I don't know. My little hood ornament on this broke off, though, very easily. I have it taped to the bottom. I'm going to eventually have to pin it and uh, make it stronger, but I'll do that later. All right, so let me set these aside. Let's see if it'll fit on that coaster. Definitely got to jump start the coaster. Super fast. So I think this is actually my favorite of the uh, series. Uh, the car is cool. I think I probably like the Cadillac more, but this this livery, I, I really like it. It's it looks kind of like an airplane, you know, and it's styling all sleek fuselage stuff. So it's cool. All right, well, that's it pretty much for my M2 limousines. Uh, there are variations where they have, you know, actual full seats instead of drag versions. If they ever come up at a decent price, maybe someday I'll get those, but I'm leaving the I'm leaving the States now. So it won't be until I come to the US again that I'll be able to afford the shipping costs, you know, to get these things. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you the next time again, M2. Bye now.